Rockstar Dad here. Tonight, I am going to look at the new Blink-182 releases. Without further ado, let's dive in. Piano. I didn't know Blink-182 played piano. Okay, shoot the tree, left you with nothing, what can you do? So, I like it, I like it, it struck me straight away, I'm not sure about the mastering on this track. For you non-musician guys out there, mastering is something that you do when you finish the recording, you take the recording to the next person and they try and equalise and compress the recording and make it sound loud and as nice as it possibly can. Now, they do that in the mix, but mastering's just that extra thing to polish a track off. And I'm not sure about the mastering on this track. It, I think it's over a bit too much. I don't know, it sounds a bit like some of the, the vocals. I mean, I like putting a vocal through something that's going to warm it up, especially in rock stuff, a little bit of distortion on a vocal works for me. But I don't know those guitars and the drum, it just seems a bit too squished for me. It's full on, I love the track. I think there's a lot in there, there's a lot of words, there's a lot going on. I'm waiting on the hook still. I'm not re I've not really got a big hook line off this, it's not like a na 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 na. I've not got that hook yet. And we're now at 1.46, that's halfway through the song. I couldn't sing it back to you right now. That's what I want from Blink-182. It's a cool song, like it. Lots of energy. The drumming is phenomenal. That double kick, ga 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 is like, uh, sounds great on this. Okay, let's continue. That's a hook. Okay, more than you know. Yes, right, I've got it now. Yeah, I still couldn't sing it back to you. <laughs> I'm trying to sing it back. I'm trying to get it. I love I love this band because they've got that thing going on where they've got the two vocals. And I love bands like that. Beatles, Beatles had three vocals, four. 
four. Ringo fans are going, you must die. What about Ringo? We love Ringo. Yes, I love bands where other people come in with the vocals, where there's other texture in there, other vocal interest in the song. And that's really nice here on this song. Obviously, we've got that Lennon McCartney type theme where your man on the bass, he's singing the verses, your man on the guitars, he's singing the choruses. They've really got two different voices. Obviously, the bass player fella, he's got this kind of soft voice and he sings kind of down. He's got a certain register down here that he sings in, seems to work. And then you've got your other fella, little gremlin sounding guy um, who, you know, likes to pronounce all his words, get stuck in there with the vocals. It does sound great. It sounds really nice. Let's check out the, the actual song, the chords. Let's have a little look and see what's going on in there. Major. Same keys that last stone song. So again, nice kind of modulations going on in there with the chords. It's not sticking to one key. Interesting for the ear. So it's kind of jumped to that E, E key center for the verse. Okay, so the main chords for the chorus we got here are we got a minor six chord. Yeah, nice. I mean, those four chords in a different order are those four chords that seem to be the recipe for so many pop songs out there. There are ingredients there of a great pop song, but like I said, hook-wise, melody, I'm not feeling any massive hook in here. Okay, let's listen to the end. Oh, he's a great drummer. Brilliant groove. Some kind of nice symbol in there. Nice crispy ending on there, like it. Crispy tight ending on there. That's something you can do in master. Um, you would have a tight ending on the mix, but on the master, there's some little tricks you can play and really tighten, squish everything up. Okay, what do I think? I don't think it's going to be a big hit for them. I don't think it's going to be one of those songs in a year's time people say Blink-182 more than you know. I don't think they'll be remembered for this track. I suppose on a gig, it's got a lot, it's got the pace, it's got the energy on a gig. 
so that the fans go kind of berserk on it. But the sing-along element for me in this track isn't there. Two songs from Blink-182. I'm going to give it another listen. Now, I'm not that big a fan of Blink-182 that I actually know what's going on with the band. I thought they've always been together, the band. I didn't realise that somebody fell out of the band and went back in. All I know is I've seen two new Blink-182 songs and I wanted to check them out. So the three original dudes are back in the band. The gigs look absolutely phenomenal. They look uh, really punchy. Loads of energy, like I keep saying. Nice song. That's an album song for me. That's not a single. I've not actually heard the other one yet. I'm going to hear the other one now. See you next time. Yeah.